For many people, the release of a new Mario Party game means something fresh and fun to bring to family or friend game nights, the beginnings of a whole new chapter of memories, and maybe even someone's future favorite game of all time. But for me, it means committing unthinkable acts and forcing the game to do things it was never meant to do, using a combination of dumb rules, programming, and whatever else I can think of. Today's target, the new Koopathlon mode, where I'll be forcing four mathematical constants to compete against one another to see which one is the numerical ruler of Jamboree's new mode. Working with Ken Flurpin, creator of the SWIC, we've created a system using code that's run locally on my PC that allows mathematical constants to play the game simply by running through each number in their sequence, with each individual digit's value being matched to a specific input. With that out of the way, let's cover today's format. Since you can only have one player per console on the Koopathon, we had to get a bit creative here. Each number will have one run of the Koopathon using the same set of minigames in each, and overall performance will be judged first by their finish time, second by overall placement on the off chance there's a tie, and finally, if a number doesn't finish at all, by total number of spaces moved. Originally, we planned to do two runs here, but after the first run, determined this would be more than enough to declare a winner. Doing some very scientific research to decide which minigame would be best. Oh god, he's gonna be struggling, dude. Oh, he almost had it! I mean, look, I can't fault him too much. He just sucks. Okay, he got a little three-piece. Dude, the screenshots are kind of huge. We might have to <laughs> we might have to bring it down to a three-lap, dude. Oh, 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 oh! Nice dude, we got a little combo action. <laughs> he said, I got it. We've determined the best combination of games would be Brick Breaker, Down the Hatch, and Lane Change. Unfortunately, since you can't choose which Bowser minigames will appear, that was still up to chance here, but I'm sure that won't be an issue. Let's get started. These minigames are very left, right heavy, so there is a bias towards the left, right here. We'll see how these guys fare. Yoshi is off to the races here. We are starting with the Brick Break minigame. How's it gonna go? Oh, see you later. The key strategy here, get it up and get it just kind of bouncing around up there. That's how the points are gonna come in. As you can see, already in second place here, starting off hot on the Brick Break here. We're gonna see how this one plays out. The longer you take to get up to that upper layer though, the more, the more seconds you burn off, the less opportunity to rack up a good score. Right now, starting off kind of slow. But again, this minigame does kind of take a while to come online. You have to open up enough bricks on the lower portion to get the wedge in the upper section to start comboing. Now that red shell on the left is very useful because it destroys the bricks if we can get them to go through there. And there you go, the points might come in. The longer that they can... Never mind. But this guy struggling to even get up there. He can't even get up on the on the, the upper row. Wait a minute, we do have, we have a shell wedge in the upper portion. That is what he needs to get up and going here. Good looks by the Yoshman early on. Toad seems a little uncertain at the moment. Uh, it, I mean, it makes sense, you know, this guy is going up against veterans. These guys have done this many times now, and this is his first time, his first competition. But, oh, nice little wedge there on the left-hand side to save the shell. Okay, finally did get a wedge. We got the 2x. Not a lot of points are going to be able to come from this, but enough. He got enough. Good, good. So Fi coming out strong here. Swinging for sure. Not even in last. Is going to be rocking 14th after one minigame. So through round number one, 22 points. Not a bad setup, all things considered here. And he got up there, but it might have been too late. Yeah, he did get, it was a, he got, he got kind of cooked. And he says, not, not yet, because he's not done yet. That's what he's saying. He's saying, I still have a little bit left in me, man. Okay, a little adjustment there at the beginning. Okay, we're seeing slight more adjustments here out of him. Oh, look at that, the, the correction. Well, we see the immediate push. That's three points if he does it. He does. And the problem is, they seem to get very stuck in their ways with the inputs. And I'm curious to see how Pauline Phi fares here. Oh, we saw a little adjustment there, and nice. It's all about getting the one-shots. 
Oh, the item is coming in. What is it going to be? And she got the amp. That's our first amp of the night, I think. Does he go for the instant push? Now he goes for the adjustment. And that can really hurt you here. Head on for the first push is guaranteed cash. <laughs> really struggling on this. Definitely more than Pi did so far. Now, if you are new to this mode, whenever that little circle in the upper right fills up, which does fill up by getting coins, you do have the potential to earn yourself an item box. So he just needs, I'd say, just a handful of more coins in order for himself to get that box. But right now, he loves the A button. I mean, this is just, it's, it's rough to watch. Because you know that this guy is, he wants it. He wants the title. But you can't get the title with a performance like this. You have to do better. He's definitely feeling a little uncertain. I can tell. You can tell by the inputs. This guy is nervous. He's teasing it. He's trying. But he got the last minute correction. Not a great run by him. He started off hot. A little bit of fall off by Pi, but that's okay. But it could be a bagging strategy, right? He's, he's trying to actively do what is best for his performance here, but he's overcompensating. And he got a screenshot, of course. And now these screenshots are not random screenshots. These are mom, look, I'm on the big stage screenshots. You know, he's gonna send those to his family. He needs to document that he's on the field. That's what it's about. The love of the game. Not a bad look, all things considered here. Picking up a few coins. No obstacles hit yet. He did get a few. Will he get the streak? That is going to be our first collision here. Three coins collected. Will he go left here? Picks up a couple. We'll see if Fi here does a little bit better. Decent pickup so far. Not too far behind. You do want to get these little triplets, or at least the doubles if you can. But he's settling in here. He's settling in. Not a bad showing here on this minigame, especially given how weak this one has been for everyone else so far on the field. Okay, wait a minute. This is a smart move here. What's happening is they are prepping the item box for the Brick Break minigame. That's smart. Never give up. Oh, or I guess do. I mean, whatever. Hey, you do you. But I'm never going to do it. I'm never giving it up. Item potential. Will he grab it? We see the adjustment into the box. Now that hit there actually does mean that he can still get it, but the box is escaping him. He didn't pass it. It passed him. Rough, rough go here from Toad after the first set of games. Here comes Bowser. Now, if you are new to this minigame, the way this minigame works is you have to pick the one without the bombs in it. And so far, he's through round one. Will we see him make it the whole way here? Let's just humor. Let's humor the number here. Let's humor the golden ratio just for a second. Let him go. We'll see what this guy can cook. And then the screenshot comes in. Don't screenshot that. Does he get it right again? And he does. Two for two, a potential win opportunity here. That would be huge for his overall time. And we are going to be losing Waluigi pretty early on. It's kind of expected, though. But honestly, a lot of people going down on the Bowser game could actually work out in favor. So keep your eyes on that middle chest. That's the one that we're going to be looking for here. I'm going to try to track it along with you all at home. Looking like an, a left option here. But Pi goes right. Is it the right choice? And it is! Oh my god, he clutched! Insane performance out of Pi. He actually gets it right and wins the minigame. Holy smokes. And he gets the star item. And yeah, yeah, so this is a good opportunity. He does have the star. Will we see it used relatively quick here? Still holding on to it. Hasn't used it yet. He, done, he did pop the star. And there it is. Look, immediately destroying the bricks. And he's got a protective barrier on the bottom half. The star is a huge play here. This might be what Pi needs. What a crazy performance. He's at 109. I would like to see more red shell priority. For whatever reason, it seems they love to play on that right-hand side. Oh, he went for the hole there. Maybe good. He's opened up a path on the left side for the red shell. 
This one is a little bit rougher than we saw Pi do because Pi did have that crazy performance with the star early on. Oh, but we have the two times metal coming in. Will he convert with it though? That's the real question. The answer is no. He did get the item, but it did not work out for him. Like, it doesn't even matter what happens to the rest of the minigame. The damage is already done. I mean, he is in second now. Do you see this? He was in 20th. He is actually not even doing bad. There's item box potential here. Will we see it? The shell does have to hit that item box for it to be collected. Only five seconds to go. Missed opportunity if the shell does not go down there. And they got the wedge, but it was too late. And this toad is playing very passive. I don't know if it's a weakness in the number or what. But here we go. Wait a minute. The red shell comes in at the final moment. I don't know if it's going to be enough to make a difference. He did get it. Took out the bottom half of the Goomba. And another screenshot. Dude, Pi is smoking these guys. How did he do that? You know there's the saying that, like, if you give a monkey a typewriter, it'll eventually write, like, Shakespeare or whatever, right? I feel like we saw the Shakespeare from the monkeys during the Pi match. But he's not done yet. This is a three-lap race. We are only on lap two. Nice initial push there. Believe it or not, unironically, having that over on the right push the, the blocks over, so it's pretty much guaranteed money either way. Look at this. Oh, this is a new technique. He's going for the garbage technique. Just pile it all up on the lane, and then eventually you're always going to hit something because there's just crap everywhere. And she immediately went back to the corner. She's teasing it. On the next rotation, you can hear the blinking. There it is. He needs it. He needs a slight adjustment. What's going to happen? Oh, but he got it. He's kind of choking it a little bit here. There's the item. If he wants to get it, he needs to correct right. But will he do it or will he continue to hit the A button? Final push. Nice push. And it's not looking good for our friend Toad at the moment. This guy fighting for his life. You know, you we want to bring a new guy to the competition. Okay, I'm happy to do it. He's here and he's underperforming. Do we get one? The coin pusher. She's struggling. 30, 30. Not going to lie. Five looking a little rough around the edges. I am not sold on their performance. Okay, okay. Let's see it. Whoa, nice dodge, but the dodge doesn't matter if you don't get any money. Now, I think in general, this mini game in the first half is a bit of a slower one. You can see even first on this run is only in the 20s. You know, we are not seeing huge pickups yet. There is the item potential. They missed their last one and they missed that one too. I think missing these item boxes are really gonna hurt Fi, dude. I think Fi might be kind of cooked at the moment. And I apologize to all the E fans out there. I imagine this is hard to watch. With no item boxes to work with, it might be GG. I mean, we saw how much work they did for Pi in round one. Now, guys, you have to think about it though. Even if he doesn't win the run, even if he doesn't do well on any of these other mini games, the damage might have been done because his competition. Unless they pull something crazy, I don't know if we're going to see that level of esports athleticism again. I received countless messages, comments, stream messages, Discord messages about the square root of two. People are saying, where is this guy? Well, he's finally here, but did he come to play? That's the real question. Okay, you got a, a few coins there. I'm wondering what the back half will look like, though. But it's time for another Bowser minigame. Do we have the chest again? No, but this one actually is a decent one for him. All you have to do is hit the A button to jump. Movement not required here. He gets the first jump, but he goes down. Oh, and he almost survived it. We programmed the controls for the minigame set, which means there's no up down. She will just die instantly. Oh, wait, she, she's going up. Oh, no, we do have up down. Never mind. I take it back. I was actually lying to you. That was a lie. Pi did the one with the chests, and he got, he guessed correctly three times. All right, we're back to Brick Breaker. This has by far been his best performance. We need an early wedge here. Okay, playing the angle. Now, this one is very tricky. Okay, decent start. He, he knows what he needs to do, but he lost the bomb. Okay, he finally has got a wedge in the upper portion. This could be it. That was a good opener. He had something going for a second. Item potential. He got the times too. Is he going to pop it? Now's the time. Okay, looking decent actually. Big pickups here on the times too. He got another item box. 
This is the snowball. Was this the comeback? Is this the comeback? He's up to 136. 154, the number's still going up here. He's surging, but is it enough? We do have item potential here. Will we see it collected? He's going for it. He does pick it up, and he's got the bullet bill. A huge pickup. He's surging. Look at the placement. Moves up into third off of that. Now, this minigame is not only the best for points, it's the best for items, too, because the items are dependent on your points. But he needs to get the box. Does he get it? He has, he has to get it one second to get the box. But no, he doesn't grab the box, man. If we see the red Koopa Troopa hit, and but, the red shell instantly got pushed straight down. And Fi might actually be cooked here. Another missed item box. 0 for 3. Actually, I believe she did get one at the beginning, so I think it's one for four, but not, not a great look. Not a great look. I don't know what it is, man, but it seems like that minigame might be his good luck charm. Even though he only got 45 coins, he's back in the pack. He's not in last anymore. Moved up to 10th from that one. And he loves it. You see that? He's spamming. Yeah, he's loving it, dude. Now, this is a big moment. Let's see how he fares on the finger push. Oh, what an interesting choice. And the red coin ball comes out. Whoop! The finger is trying to wedge the blocks. They're clipping into each other. <laughs> Dude, they were clipping into it. I've never seen that. I didn't even know that was possible. Nice push. He's stuck in the corner. He gets a screenshot. He says, Mom, look at the camera. I'm here. And his mom says, That's nice, dear. Focus on the game. Screenshot. The item box will probably be in the next set coming over. There it is. But does he get it? It's right there. He needs a slight left adjustment. A little bit more. Will we see it? That's going to be a missed item. Very unfortunate stuff. We did get an adjustment here. Oh, the Giga Push! He one-shot that. Do we have another one-shot? Look at this. 55 points. Coming in on the Finger Push. 67. He's going up. He's moving up in position. He's in fifth. Do we see any more? Item potential. He gets the item. What is it? It's a star. The star has the Giga Hand. And the stars are falling from the sky. He's getting uh, he's getting somebody from the stars. What? He wins it. First place from Pi in the Coupathlon. Not only does he finish, he finishes in first. Dominating performance coming out of Pi here in game one. I don't know how we topped that, honestly. And with Pi taking an absolutely astounding victory in their match, we should be seeing all of the other numbers finishing up soon, right? And that is going to be a DNF here. Everyone, I believe, did finish off of that. However, he did make it to lap three. She's struggling, but it's okay. We are not evaluating her on her performance. And I believe that's going to be a DNF. He does have the remainder of this minigame to get a few more points to maybe not get last. Everyone is done. This is gonna be a DNF on lap two, but he was like lower than the other guy. You hate to see it, tragic.